Hi, my name is Shane Silas. Welcome to Market Monday number 36, where I try to show you something cool. So I've been building a game that uses the uh, leap motion, and one of the things that I've come across that I've needed is to do uh, basically UI, you know, have menu elements, have things you can click, and I want to be able to keep everything using, so that you can play the game using the leap motion only. And uh, basically, let me, let me show you what it is that, the problem that I ran against in my solution. So here it is. This is a sample of uh, Unity's uh, UI. And this is just kind of a, a nice little kind of a mock-up menu. And you can use uh, the keyboard to navigate around. You can click. You can also use the mouse um, to bring up all these menus. And they have nice little animations. And, you know, anyway, it looks nice. It's a good thing. It's easy to make it so that my hand will appear. However, if I want my index finger to be able to push these buttons, uh, there's nothing about the leap motion that will talk to uh, Unity's new UI system so that I can click it. Fortunately, Unity's new UI system is, uh, does have an interface that you can plug into. So after spending some time with it, I was able to actually make it so that with the leap motion, this is now with my code enabled, you can now hover over uh, these different buttons, and they will then click after you know after you see this this little window, uh, this little timer, or if you if you move the timer resets, yada yada yada. And actually, a lot of things, uh, both the leap motion and uh, Xbox Connect have kind of you know made this semi standard in terms of how you interact with these um, menu elements with no kind of really uh, reliable click mechanism. Now you can actually uh, turn on, uh, there's a, a screen tap, which is where you push kind of into the screen. And then there's also a, a clicked uh, a key tap that you can do as well uh, with the, the code that I've uh, put together here. Um, while I was building this though, I realized that you could also do this without really relying on um, the leap motion. So if you have some other kind of exotic uh, input device, like say a Oculus Rift, where you can you know change where it is that you're looking, um, so long as you can kind of control some kind of 3D object in the screen, you can get the same kind of uh, setup. Um, so this uh, you know allows you to you could basically make a cursor out of whatever it is that you like. Um, and this is uh, a asset that I'll be releasing on the uh, Unity Asset Store sometime soon. Um, it'll probably be called something like Leap Motion Pointer Module or, or something like that. Um, but it basically it fills a kind of missing uh, a, a missing puzzle piece if you're trying to make these uh, Leap Motion games. And uh, yeah, so that's my mock-up for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching.